Hi, I'm senior playologist John Ireton with an introduction to another fun family game that's big on spatial visualization, Simply Fun's Hue Turn. This pattern matching game allows two to four players, ages eight and up, to search for patterns and form solutions from partially completed situations. Every game features creative problem solving opportunities. The game contains a board with 49 spaces, three different combinations of two color pegs, black, red, red, silver, and silver, black. There are 16 green hue turn pegs and 54 pattern cards in three difficulties, plus a yellow wild starter peg. Hue turn teaches pattern recognition and spatial visualization, using your mind to picture objects and then turn them mentally. Patterning skills are a key element in critical thinking and problem solving, plus help to develop a strong math foundation. Here's how to play. Shuffle all three decks of pattern cards, then give a card from each deck to each player. Divide all the double-sided pegs and green hue turn pegs equally among all players. Place the yellow wild starter peg in the center of the board and the draw decks nearby. The youngest player goes first. On each turn, you will use up one of your pegs. You may choose to place a new peg on the board to create a pattern that's shown on one of your pattern cards. Note that the arrow on the top of each card shows the orientation of the pattern from your side of the board. Do not turn the cards. Instead of placing a peg, a player may choose to flip a peg on the board to its secondary color. This is called hue turn. Discard one of your green pegs when you choose this alternate action. Remember that the yellow center peg is wild and may represent any color necessary to complete patterns. Players may only complete their pattern cards on their own turn. You cannot score your pattern if it was created by another player. Skilled players may learn how to match more than one pattern in the same turn. But always remember that your cards must be oriented correctly and your pattern must include the piece you just placed or flipped this turn. At the end of your turn, refill your hand to three cards by drawing from any of the piles. You do not have to replace a card of the same value as the one you just played, but don't take on more challenge than you can handle. It can be difficult to complete any patterns if your hand is full of hard four peg patterns. The game will end after two of the three piles are exhausted. When the final card is drawn from the second pile, let the remaining players each get a final turn, then add up points. Each completed easy pattern is worth two points. Medium patterns are worth three, and hard patterns are worth four. Unused green pegs are also worth two points each. Whoever has the highest total is the winner. When introducing the game the first time, it can be helpful to omit the rule about card orientation and allow players to just focus on patterns. Introduce that rule later as an additional challenge. This is one of those great games everyone wants to play again right away. Keep track of your scores and see who the Hue Turn Champion is at your house.